What's up everybody, Brian Monaco here from Monaco Auto Design and today we are working on a brand new GT2 RS. And in this video I wanted to try out something a little different. I wanted to kind of talk about what I'm doing versus what you're watching on the screen. My previous videos, I kind of just let it let it run and you kind of just watch uh, the rendering evolve into the final product. But I want to kind of talk about what I'm doing here. So let's get started and you'll notice that right off the bat, I'm essentially masking off the car uh, to get painted, changing the color. So uh, you'll see me playing around with a couple different colors here. I already had like a bluish hue in mind. So that's what I ended up doing. So essentially what you want to do there is mask off the car as if you were painting it in real life. You could use a layer mask and mask off all the bits and pieces that you don't want to get color on. Uh, so that's what you uh, saw there. Here I'm adding in the hood stripes. I had this blue, silver, red theme in my head, which I think turned out pretty cool actually, uh, just trying out some different looks. The GT2 RS also comes with two different headlight options. The original image I had had a, the more chrome uh, sort of headlights. I used the blacked out ones for this specific rendering. And you'll see me now, I'm pretty much just transferring that same hood design and make, uh, making it go through the roof. Um, so it's essentially the same process as the hood, just transferring it to the roof so it goes down the entire length of the car. Masking out some windows, because I will be changing the background in this rendering, you'll notice in a little bit. On the side there, I'm kind of just adding in uh, a little bit more silver to balance out the front and the sides. And I moved here to the mirrors, and I'm taking away the carbon fiber, and I wanted like a matte silver finish instead. So that's what you see going on there. And now, what are we doing? Okay, we're adding in the background, and you'll notice that now I'm paying attention to the lighting and trying to get the lighting to match the background, so there was a lot of work that needed to be done to make it look realistic. So you'll see me uh, adding in some highlights and some shadows and toning down the interior of the car to make it not so blatantly obvious, because in this sort of background, the way that the lighting was, it, it was a lot of window reflection, not too much detail within the interior itself. So you'll see me here kind of recreating what it should look like. Of course, adding some hood pins, uh, because why not? <laughs> it's a GT2 RS. I, th I think those should come stock with uh, hood pins. I don't know about you, but... So here you'll see me airbrushing a front splitter. I'm gonna see at the bottom underneath there, that is a splitter that I airbrushed for another project that I wanted to replicate the same kind of look, so that's why you saw it down there. I was just kind of, um, I wanted to get that same sort of feel. Super low to the ground, obviously, and we can give a moment of silence to that lift. All my Stradman fans will understand what I'm talking about. Um, what do we got going on here? Okay, this is a fun part. So. I wanted to add a wide body to this car, and obviously there are no parts necessarily for it. Maybe a, the, maybe the GT3 Cup stuff uh, for the front fender, but nothing for the rear fender specifically. So what you see me here is um, brushing from scratch the wide body. Uh, a common mistake I see a lot of people make is they add on a wide body look to the car. Uh, and then they just kind of slap it on the fender without actually physically widening the fender. So what you're seeing here is the fender is physically wider. That'll allow for a bigger tire, a bigger wheel, and a better look. So you'll see right here on the rear, see how I just moved that out? And if you were to measure that in real life, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe three inches. So you want to physically move it out to get the, get the wide effect. Because if you don't do that, you won't get that wide effect. So right now I'm pretty much just airbrushing in some highlights, kind of matching the paint, making sure it all matches. And uh, I found a really nice set of HRE wheels that were already from a GT3 RS, um, but they were from the passenger side. Uh, the view was from the passenger side, so I had to flip it around. But when you do that, all the logos are then flipped. So you see me here, I got rid of the Porsche logo on the calipers, changed the color and added my logo onto them. 
And also the center caps, they said RS on them. I had to flip that to make it correct for the driver's side. And now you'll see me coming back to this side graphic, trying to match up the front, balance it out a little bit more. And now I believe I'm adding some carbon fiber. Yeah, I'm adding a carbon fiber pattern. I thought the plasticky look uh, didn't really fit that well, so you'll see me there adding some carbon fiber to wherever there was no pattern before. And I believe this is it. There you go, that's the final product. Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate it. Let me know if you like this kind of style of video. I plan to do some more of these and some more tutorial videos. So stay tuned and I'll catch you next time.